Unbel- this is. I, we're starting with this today. I've been offered a new contract, which is surprising, but shows that form is temporary and class is permanent. Choose which one you think we're in. Uh, right, let's let's crack on. Welcome back to FC Thames. It's going to be an adventure. It always is. Yes, please. We will start the negotiations. I will get a new contract. I was a little bit worried, viewers, I'm not going to lie, that I was going to be sacked this season. So, um, yeah, we'll take it. And the reason, viewers, they've offered me the contract is the upturning form. Now, yesterday we met, right, Bath City, Hampton and Richmond, and that continued to be horrendous for a few more games after that, let me tell you, which meant our form wasn't great, let's just say that. Seven games without a win, uh, people started noticing. That was the problem. And then... Out of nowhere, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 1-1, 1-1, 1-1. And now with two games today, viewers, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. I think I think we've, I think we've it's written in the stars, viewers. Uh, we're going to play Dover and Worthing in today's episode. And now, out of nowhere, seven games without defeat. I tweeted out a picture of this. This sums up my lower league experience, really. Before that, a couple of wins, a couple of defeats, draw, win, loss. It was all over the place. Um, so we seem to have turns, 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 turns things around, viewers. We've turned things around. Um, 13. We sit in the league table, just six points off the playoffs, viewers. That's right. Yeah, we are now not really in the relegation conversation so much anymore, but we are in the playoff battle. <laughs> are you convinced? We've got a game in hand on lots of the teams ahead of us as well. So actually, we are that little bit closer than I'd first thought. And how have we turned our fortunes around, viewers? What are you thinking? Has there been new owners? Have you spent some money? Have you brought players in? No, we've changed the system um, to play the Mbika machine, despite the fact that he is not currently here. Uh, big news as well for today's game is that Tyrese Lewis uh, is out on international duty and won't be back until the 29th, which means he misses the first game for us, which is annoying, but his form has been quite good. So I guess that's a reason to be promising, or to be happy about it. To be, I mean, it's promising for him. It's annoying for us. Um, yeah, four two three one. that's what we're playing. Target man attack for Marsh Hughes. And, uh, and he has been... Basically, the only reason why we are doing as well as we're doing goals in games and uh, yeah, keeping us competitive in said games. When he doesn't score, draws are more likely, which is a bit frustrating. But here we go then. This is now how I, I think we're going to set up for a little while. Fleming's been having some good performances more recently than not. Less mistakes from him. It's been crucial. Uh, Harfield, Reeve, King and Barnes have settled themselves in now. As the back four, and uh, that back two specifically are really quite good. Um, changing roles up a little bit all over the place, really. Like it's a custom vert vertical tiki taka, um, but played cautiously and played almost counter attacking. You know, uh, Brunt and a Cohen in the centre. You'd think with those two in the middle, we'd be really, really good. And, and finally, that seems to be working for us. Calder as a winger on that side, Lewis as a winger on the other side, and Carey, uh, Sonny Carey, has been playing behind Marsh Hughes and he's been decent too. Don't let the lack of yellow. Um, underestimate just how good that man is. So, yeah, Sonny Carey there then. 16 grand he's worth. So, big time. Uh, two goals, three assists as well. All come pretty recently. And hopefully now this run of form can continue. So, how to end that run of form, viewers? Record it for a YouTube video. Panic, struggle, change things around dramatically and fall into a large pit of mud. Here we go then. Oh, we had regen there as well. Um, for the first time, as the, the contract has been signed, I'm not even going to show you it. It's just, it's literally not worth it. Oh, fine, yes, I'll show you. That. I'll show you the worst or the best of the worst. Uh, Dennis Lowry was was the best of the worst. One work rate. He's fairly ambitious with one work rate. Forget it. The best thing about him is his hair. We're moving on. Uh, not only that, viewers, but um, I have put a bid in. Right, so if you look at here, you can see who do you think I've bid for? The top goal scorer in the league, Dale Taylor. You're damn right. So I don't know if, if that's going to be... Is that how I can approach to sign? He doesn't want to talk to me. Never mind. I put a bid in, 150 quid. They went, yeah, I have him. So I thought, great, we're going to get him. And then he's... He's turned me down, so that's good. I can't think why. Is it because we are 13th, viewers? Who knows? Dover coming up next, though. They're 17th in the league before we play Worthing, who are 5th. That's going to be a bit of a battle. But a recent form has been good. We've, we've looked really good. Hopefully, it can continue as uh, Rasulo is unhappy he's not playing. I think that's completely reasonable, understandable. Um, we'll, we'll discuss the promises that I've made. We will convinced that I've, I've, let's just, I don't know what I've agreed to there. I can accept that. Happy to wait. I think I owe the club that much. Thanks, mate. I don't know. He doesn't know anything. I've treated him terribly. Welcome back to another adventure. So, I mean, I love this. I, I do love finding ourselves now in this position with some games to go, right? I, I've maybe 40 games with what we've got, 12 left to go. We could sneak in there. I believe it. 
Do you? Are you on board? I don't. I don't know if you. I don't know if you believe it, viewers. If I'm honest, do you, oh, I think you do. Here we go. Dover. Beat Dover. Beat those White Cliffs, and then we're, we're away from there. Is that their name? The White Cliffs. Um, probably not, but it should, it should be. What, what is their nickname actually? Speaking of which, they, they don't have one. I was looking for it, thinking, where is it? They just have one. They just, they just, they're, well, they're called they're the White Cliffs, and I think the, that, there's a picture of that in their in their badge as well. So come on, maybe they got bored uh, of people trying to come up with it. I don't know. I went for a Dover border joke. I, I shouldn't have done it. They should do it themselves. They should come up with something customs. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't want to cause too much tunnel. <laughs> Trouble that was supposed to be. Whatever. Okay, again, sorry. Never ending viewers. Uh, with Tyrese Lewis not playing today, we have a bit of a problem, actually. We don't have anyone that plays naturally on the left-hand side. So I'm going to do what most actual teams do. Just play a striker there. Just play a striker there. Farley, either footed. He's relatively quick. I, I could try and work in, right, at one of our more attacking midfielders to play there. Like Rasulo could play out there. I mean, he's unhappy that he's not been playing. Maybe this is his moment to shine. All right, Rasulo, show me what you got, kid. I could have moved Calder across and maybe put someone else up there, like a Cohen. But I don't want to. I don't want to lose the core of the team. That's the thing. I don't, and, and that would mean I'd have to change things around that I don't really want to do. So I'd rather just have that one position be disrupted rather than change the whole team, changing like three players around. Because what you could have done is move a Cohen to the right hand side, bring Kazan Bradkar in, play Calder on the left, but. I didn't really want to do that. I, I like what we've got going on at the moment. All right, I've been in 2D recently as well because I've been doing a lot of uh, tactical analysis, viewers. I don't know what I said that for. All right, ball is, uh, has been lofted forward and now we start our first attack of the game down the left-hand side uh, to nobody as the ball inside, though. Oh, I thought we were going to win that back. Dover wearing a white kit. They should call themselves the white kit. We've been through this. Um, on the left-hand side, though, he's got a name of someone that should not be playing at this level of football. Uh, it's, far, it's far too cool. I didn't even see... I couldn't even see the whole thing to read it, viewers. I just knew it was fancy as the time is slowly ticking by. Uh, Dover are below us in the league table, so there is an argument to say we should play a little bit more offensively as Calder whips across in. Uh, Atkinson, their goalkeeper, saves it pretty comfortably and then launches the ball forward expertly to Park, who is now, well, he's running around this field like it is a park. That is a perfectly good tackle! No, viewers, no! No, there's a little gap on that side. No, they've got a penalty then. Uh, the last penalty was saved by Fleming. Will this one be saved? It will! Unbelievable! And what, he didn't even get his hands to it. He just threw his body in front of it. What a save from Dean Fleming. Sensational. Wow! That was one of the best saves I've ever seen on Football Manager. I mean, it wasn't a penalty. So I feel slightly better about it. We're going to switch to balanced as well. Not quite be so cautious against the side that, again, I think we can be doing more against. And so far... Doing nothing against 65% of the ball. We should try and do a little bit more with that as Gamble with the throw in. Played to that back post. That cut. Blimey, that was such a weird header from uh, Saminito Ramirez, I think it is, which is what, what a name. Uh, first half, viewers, has been very underwhelming. This feels like one of the games we've been drawing recently rather than one of the games we've been winning. A lot of the games we've been winning, we've been definitely having the best of it. This has not been that. Let's avenge what happened last time against Dover. Let's. Right now, our form is about to fall off a cliff. <laughs> what what's what is going to be today i'm making jokes and then i'm the only person laughing at them they've got a corner they are going to score soon if we're not careful i don't know what to do about this left hand side actually oh no no i do know what to do something i should have done at the start of the game right okay they may well score uh fisher's coming on fisher's gonna play uh, as a pressing forward on defend out on that side he quite likes it he will act in a similar fashion to a left winger by playing him out there. Um, obviously, that change is going to happen after this highlight. Ball into Park. That is one of the best goals I've ever seen. That is unfair. Kevin Park's fourth goal of the season. Struck like he scored 44 goals this season, viewers. As um, our form is... Say this was our form there, look. And it's, you know, it's been pretty balanced in, in recent times. And then all of a sudden... Oh, there goes the form. There it goes. Off the, off the edge of a sharp incline. It's 1-0 Dover. All right, we've made the switch. We're going attacking. We're demanding more. We're expecting something. We're playing higher tempo, more direct. I've had enough. <sighs> Started this episode talking about the playoffs. That's what I should, that's where I should have. I should have just been saying we're really creeping away from the relegation zone. Isn't it getting exciting that we're now, you know, not in that chatter anymore? And then we lose to Dover, who are below us, and now increase the gap down there again. Or decrease the gap, actually, don't they? Make it smaller in a way. Ball played in, and Fleming does well. Still time. Now, if this was us as the side below Dover, this is a, this would be the point now in the game, as lots of our players are doing absolutely nothing. This would be the point in the game, all the attacking talent I can bring on here, uh, that we would now come back and win. So what I mean is, teams would do this against me. So let's just, let's just flip reverse it. Uh, I'll fire them up. I can't fire them up. There's not a lot of time. A goal, an equaliser. Not a shot on target. What is this match? I'm lost in seven. 
And then I've just watched us put in that performance. Okay, I'm storming. I'm not even doing a t I'm walking out. I didn't realise Tyrese Lewis on the left-hand side was so pivotal. Clearly he is. Clearly, without him, we are dirt viewers. We're, we are absolute mud. So I'm going to have to get him back. That was so dull, says Ibby. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Thank, thank goodness you're not watching it as a YouTube video, Ibby. I can't imagine doing that. Right, now I've got, to, I've got to continue three or four more days to a thing who are fourth. So that's that's my that's my reaction. So you know, look look forward to it, viewers. Look at all these free players. You think, look, this guy's good, isn't he? He's got a ninety-one recommendation. You click his name, you see that he's not got an attribute over ten. All right, he's got five attributes over ten, but not enough attributes over ten. It's too late now, anyway. It's too late. It's too late. I actually played more games than I was than I was intending to because I have concluded that the reality of this season, as much as I'm talking about the playoffs or relegation, is that we're probably going to be around sort of just just lower mid table. And with that in mind, um, I'm going to try and speed it up for our benefit. For our benefits so by the end of this week we're doing a transfer window we're into a new season and again much like last season we can pretend this season isn't happening unless viewers and stay tuned right unless we beat worthing and then it's on isn't it so let's just hold fire fleming got in team of the week for saving a penalty team of the week as the takeover rumors are not to be believed viewers sky sports are reporting on them so that it's clearly real all my players' contracts are about to expire soon, which financially, based on the wages, is probably a good thing. Kevin Betts there, been released by Manchester United, doesn't want to talk to me. Thanks for bringing those players to my attention. Some of the others might do, though, and we'll, uh, we'll inquire. We'll make some, make some inquiries. Look at the financials there. Look at the financials. It's just going, it's just down, down, deeper and down, isn't it? Terrible. Worthen and Woking shouldn't be in the same league. Do you see that there as well, right? These two teams should not be in the same league. Their names are too similar. It shouldn't be allowed. Well, what about Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United? Well, that, there's a reason they're not in the same division. Um, for now. Well, what about Manchester City and Manchester United? Yeah, there's a reason we call them City and United, because it's too too confusing. Whereas Worthing and Woking, oh, I mean, the R's not enough of a difference for me. Or, or the H, or the T. Oh, there's a few letters that are different. All right, fair enough. You made your point. But the start and ends are basically just the same, aren't they? You, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what my, my issue is really. I should just be, I should just get over it. Right, he's back, viewers. Tyrese Lewis is in the. T Look at that. You see the glow up we've had there. Right, this is a game that I expect us to do absolute wonders in. Ignore the last one because he wasn't in the team and he's been in the team throughout this season. He's taken one game out and we have crumbled. Now he's back. We are going to be. Oh. The, the, Feel that, viewers. That's energy right there. Are you ready? Are you ready for wins? Yes, we are. Burner. Here we are. We're in the uh, the yellow kit as well. The Dr. Benji branded uh, alternate kit. So let's see if we can do the business in that one as the ball. Look, give it to Lewis. Look at him. He wants it out here. Here he is. Look, he's back. Oh, the composure of a man that knows how good he is. As um... Oh, Kerry. Great challenge. Again, mate. Again. Battle again. Ball played football forward. <gasps> Oh, Fleming's unbelievable. He can only dive to that side, but he's unbelievable at doing it. We've still got a game in hand as well. Like This is this is on. They've got a free kick. They're going to whip it into the back post as it's gone over. I'm not going to change it, of course. Yes, I did it again. I started panicking. I thought there's not been any goals. We'll, we'll, we'll push for a winner. We'll push for equalizers. We won't. We're just going to play as instructed. This is the plan. Okay, don't worry about the shots. Don't worry about the fact we've not had any chances yet. This is the this is the moment. Remember that. This is the moment. Barnes plays the ball in. Tyrese Lewis. It's all about Lewis. Da -na 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 the thought that's running through your mind is you're 30. You're 30. You're 30. So I'm just going to stop there. But um, yeah, what a ball. What a header. There's a reason he's here, viewers. It's not actually for his heading ability, but we'll take it. Fourth of the season. Thames lead against fourth placed Worthing. Worthing, Worthing's next. Yeah, actually, if they're gonna if they're gonna have the similar names, they shouldn't be allowed to be played one after the other. Very confusing. The amount of people that would just end up in the other place by accident is God. Sh I shudder to think, viewers. As Vaughan back plays it in. Oh, Rob Dale scored. It's a bit quick as well. It's a little bit too quick. Fleming there, diving to his right hand side. It's a surprise he didn't get there, viewers, based on earlier evidence. Okay, well Lewis is back in the team, so we're definitely not losing. That's the one. The, the, sorry, the XG for his header there was 0 0.05. He had a one. He had basically had a free header at the back post. Didn't he? Mm. None of it makes any sense to me, viewers. Uh, happy with the performance so far. They're a decent side, and we are staying competitive, which is important. You know, we're, stay, we're, we're entertaining the fans, and that's what the board want. It said so in my contract. Come on now, this is this is where we've got to start. 
Finding a way through, making things happen. Reeve is on it now. Plays it all the way across to Renard Calder, who has been a, a fantastic player for us in recent seasons. Can he provide a moment of magic for us here? Ball played in. Marsh Hughes. It's Tyrell. It's what? I thought it was in. It's not in. Oh, I feel like a fool, viewers. I feel like a fool. And not just because I'm wearing a green hoodie while we're using a green screen. I feel like a fool. Oh, now they've got a freak. Don't do it like this to me. They've. I mean, he's that The right hand side is unbelievable at saving on that side. I was always a left-handed diver. I would be far better diving away to my left. But he's unbelievable on that on that side. I can't believe how good he is. Carey on the bench. Maybe it's time for Josh Hawkins to come on, switch things up. Just try and keep fresh legs in the centre there. Keep working hard, boys. This is st There's still a chance for us here, just maybe. I'm demanding a little bit more. 12 minutes to go. Thames 1-1. One, one. This would be a good result, to be fair. Just, just don't bin it off, as we're so prone to do. Fleming. Keep it nice and simple. Nice to King. Here we are. Look, this is good from us. As uh, Calder flicks it on. Oh, no. The target man attack for uh, for Marsh Hughes has actually been very good. So, we're definitely sticking with that for a few games more. Across this side now. It feels it feels inevitable, doesn't it, viewers? It's knocked down. It feels inevitable. I know it. I've, I've watched too much. Uh, oh, there it is. <sighs> Seven games unbeaten. Seven games unbeaten. Hit record. It's a shambles again. In shambles. Do you know what the worst bit was there? I put I put the lid on the pen, then I put the pen to the side, then I threw the pen, and once again, just comes off every time. So the moral of the story is I fix your pen lids on securely. So that when you do throw them, it's absolutely fine. I don't know what to change now. I feel like everything was going hunky dory. I feel like we were having a great time. We've lost to a decently placed side. Again, just to reiterate viewers, I started today's episode talking about the playoffs. We now sit Eight points off them with 10 games to go. It's on, viewers. I think it's on. Ah! Absolutely devastated. Feels so much worse than any other loss when it comes late in the game, says says Nabby Riley. Amelia's put, I've ne I've heard of a snatching victory, of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Never thought I'd see us do the literal opposite. <laughs> Eddie said, think we just need to admit that they were the better team today. Okay, then we will do, Eddie. <sighs> Lewis scored, though. So that was good. Well, there we are, viewers. Another episode of um, nothing but disappointment, really. Uh, happy you could be a part of it with me. Um, but at least we've got our memories. You know, at least we've made memories today, which is, it could be worse. My fear is, viewers, that we will now go on a run, much like we did after the last episode of Sadness. And these games here will be contributing to that uh, unless something miraculous happens viewers we'll be back again uh, for the final games of the season against maidenhead and dorking so just to confirm you can't see them anyway it just looks like i was having a, having a fainting moment there uh take care of yourselves gang hopefully you enjoyed the content anyway hopefully you had good times i did and i recorded it so hopefully you did too is there a gap in that is there a gap there is there a gap there well, forget what I just said, because that has ruined the... Why, why fix it now? It's too late. It's too late. There's a gap. All right, fine. I admit it. There's a New York... There's all sorts of crap over there as well. Oh, just take care of yourself, viewers. Chaos. Bring back Do It Better, where things are more relaxed. Next Monday, new series. Bye, everyone. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Please. <laughs>